Hello everyone. In this video, let's see how to do inventory management in Excel. This tracker is absolutely free and if you are interested, you can download from the link provided in the description below. So you have the closing stock balance end of the month, which has the details of what was opening balance, what was stock purchase, what was stock sold and what is the closing balance during the month and what is the value of the stock. And you have the different tabs here. For example, now I'm in the closing stock balance. I click on this opening stock balance. It goes to opening stock balance. I click on stock purchase. It goes to stock purchase tab, stock sold and materials. Likewise, if I want to come back again, closing stock balance, I just click here. It will come to the respective tab. To start with, let's go to the material details. So any purchase or any sold, you make it, you make an entry here first so that this will be an input for all other tabs. So for example, now first I update a serial number. I will update as a serial number instead of updating nine, I just press control D so that it up update, updates serial number automatically. So before that, let's see how this serial number is updated. Let me remove this. First, what I do is I use a row function, row, close bracket minus row and then I take the active cell and I press F4 by locking. I, I lock this cell by pressing F4 from the keyboard, close bracket plus one. And now I extend this formula. Now advantage of this, even if you remove any row in between, for example, let me uh, delete this row number four. If I delete this, automatically the serial number will be updated uh, accordingly for other rows. So let me press Ctrl Z. Let me remove all these things. And now I have the product code. So for that, let me update as P0. And then uh, description. Let me type it as ABC for our discussion. And then uh, 100. So let's convert this to dollar. For that, I go here in the currency I take in the currency and now it's coming as Indian instead of that I just take this uh, paste it here so it's convert to dollar and just let's do the formatting a bit yes now this is done so material details is something where uh, the basic information of all the materials will be updated so that the respective tabs will can be extract or uh, uh, the, in the respective tabs this information can be used. Now, see now the material details file is done. So let's go back uh, to the opening stock balance tab. Here is what at the beginning of the month you had a balance. So for example, so you have a PP uh, P001. You had this. Uh, extension board you had a unit as 542 and the unit price is 42.48 if you remember I told like uh, all this information are coming from material details only uh, thing is like uh, the product code you update manually otherwise the description uh, it comes from uh, material so we just use the VLOOKUP let me apply the VLOOKUP here is equal to VLOOKUP and then I select the product code here and then I go to the material tab, select this. I complete, uh, select this and then I press F4 to lock the cell and then uh, I need a description. So in this case, it will be, sorry, I think I made a mistake. Let me apply the formula again, is equal to VLOOKUP. I take the product code, then go to the material here is a product code and description is here and I press F4 to lock the cell and then 2 comma 0 press enter and you have that's how the formula is used for all this uh, uh, descriptions. So now we also had it if you remember like we added a new uh, product code and if I go back here and if I select the new product code as instead of uh, uh, P001 if I make it P011 automatically you can see uh, the ABC has been updated 
Likewise, once we have this, and then I also use the same VLOOKUP formula to extract the report of unit price, and then we had the opening balance of this, number of units we have this, and then we just simply multiplied uh, number of uni uh, units per price multiplied by units and just exchange this formula and then we have the opening stock balance and this I just use a sum function SUM and just select this to get the opening balance of units and uh, again same formula use copy and paste it here to get the total amount of uh, stock so again it's in uh, uh, let's convert to dollar so just use this format paste it here now you have this in formatting so now you have the opening balance and then in between across the month you would have purchased few uh, materials and that's what we have the details here as soon as you purchase some materials you can keep adding here the product code is here and this again the extra extension or the description you have this we look up same how it was in opening stock balance then units also it comes as we look up and then you update the number of units you purchase and then uh, multiplied the units and unit price and the, uh, sorry uh, unit price and the units you get the uh, total stock value and this is the total stock which you purchase during the month units is 4761 4, and the stock value is 65843.75 and then you have the stock sold uh, during the month uh, these are the units which you sold uh, again uh, you just need to have the product number here then the description will be updated automatically and then you have the unit price again it's coming from the material details and these are the units you sold and just use a sum function to get this total and again uh, the total stock value is uh, unit price multiplied by units you get the total stock value and again the sum function to get this now you have the opening stock balance, you have the stock purchase, you have the stock sold. Now let's calculate the closing stock balance. Again you have the serial number here, the product code you have here and the description here. Again the description we, have, we as we discuss, we have used the VLOOKUP to get from the material details and then the unit price also same and then the opening stock balance. Opening stock balance you had this beginning of the month, this is the balance you had. That's the opening stock balance you have. Again, we have used the VLOOKUP by the product code to get the opening stock balance from uh, this sheet. And then you have the stock purchase. Uh, again, uh, it's a simple uh, VLOOKUP formula. Using the product code, we are uh, extracting the report from the stock purchase tab. And then again, you have the stock sold. Again, we use the VLOOKUP matching with the product code to get the stock sold. This is the details you have units here. That's the details what you have here and then the closing stock. So now the formula for closing stock will be is equal to uh, open bracket opening stock balance plus stock purchase close bracket minus stock sold press center to get the closing stock balance. I just to copy paste it extend this formula here and then you have the uh, value stock end of the month you also need to have the value stock value for this again simple formula is equal to closing stock multiplied by whatever the unit price press center you get this just copy extend this formula you have the total closing stock balance that is 5359 and the total stock value by end of the month you have a 65,358.41 I hope uh, this video is useful and if you like this video please click on like button and to subscribe to my channel thank you